Dear students, in this session of software engineering, we will discuss about software reviews and we will discuss about review team members, types of software reviews that is walkthroughs and FTR. We will discuss about review process and review meeting and advantages of conducting reviews. What are reviews? Software reviews are systematic evaluation of software in order to remove errors. These reviews are conducted in various phases of software development process such as analysis, design and coding. The objective of software review is to ensure that quality of software is maintained in each phase of software development. This slide shows that shows about the and software review team members. A review is conducted and all the review members are informed about the review and the various team members includes author or producer. Author is responsible for making corrections in the product when review is over. Moderator or review leader. Moderator or review leader ensures that review procedures are performed throughout the review meeting and moderator is responsible for assembling the team and keeps the review meeting on schedule and is responsible for organizing the schedule of product to be reviewed. Recorder Recorder records the important issues of the product which arise during review meeting. A document is prepared containing the results of review meeting and reviewer analyzes the product and prepares notes before the review meeting begins. There can be more than one reviewer in the team depending on the size of product to be reviewed. Types of software reviews. Different types of software reviews are conducted as a part of review process. The software review can be conducted in formal and informal ways. Walkthroughs. This is the first type of reviews. This review is an informal review, review which is used to evaluate the product. No preparation is made in advance and due to this the walkthroughs are termed as unplanned activity. Formal technical review. Formal technical review is a formal review that is performed by a review team. It is performed in any phase of software development. Each FTR is conducted as a meeting and is considered successful only if it is properly planned, conducted and attended. Objectives of FTR The main objective is to detect errors in functioning of software and errors occurring due to incorrect logic. To check that whether the product being reviewed accomplishes the requirements or not and to ensure that the product is developed using established standards. The review process is shown in the figure. First, the, the preparation of review of the product is done and then the product which is to be reviewed and the, uh, is considered and copies of that product is passed to all the team members. After that, a review meeting is conducted and during the review meeting the decision regarding the next review is taken and if more reviews are required then the date of the next review is decided in the meeting and in this way the software review process goes. Stages of review meeting. As the review is conducted as a meeting and review meeting is conducted to review the product to validate the quality of product. A successful review consists of number of stages and these stages are shown in the figure. First stage is planning stage. In this stage, author studies the product that requires a review and then informs to the moderator. moderator verifies the product that is to be examined. The verification is essential to determine that whether the product requires review or not. 
After verification, the moderator assigns the task to the different team members. The main objective of review is that the review is conducted in efficient manner. Next stage is overview stage. In this stage, the product is analyzed to detect errors, so knowledge of product is essential. So the author explains about the product to all the members. Next stage is preparation stage. In this stage, each review member examines the product and problems are noted. Next stage is meeting. Problems in this stage, the problems discussed in overview stage are then discussed among the review members. Then recorder records the problem in the defect list. The defect list includes the acceptance of product or conditionally acceptance of product or rework required, the decision on whether the rework is required or not is uh, noted in the defect list. Rework. The author revised the problems that are identified in the meeting. Follow-up stage. In this stage, the product is verified after the author has performed the rework on it. In case if still there are errors in the product, then the review meeting is conducted again. When the review meeting is conducted, then the recorder records all the issues related to the product. After that, a reviewer summarizes the issues and these issues are then recorded in the document that is in the review summary report and in the review issue list. Why reviews are done or what are the advantages of FTR? FTR are conducted for detecting the errors during the development process of the software. This means the reviews detect errors and thereby reduces the cost of software and increases the efficiency of the software. The figure shows the figure uh, shows two um, two diagrams. Figure A uh, that is the first figure shows that errors are present in the software before conducting the FTR. And second figure shows that when the FTR is conducted, then half the errors are fixed and some part of the software still contains the errors in it. This is how the reviews work or um, reviews are done in the uh, during the different stages of software development. Students. If you have not seen the previous videos of this channel, then there is a link of playlist of all the previous videos.